basically puss like gets to the magical place with the magical wish with the blah 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 you sure. know he gets his um, last wish yeah he he has the map and he has a chance to get his last wish basically even though you know everyone's kind of going after it of course as the hero he gets his chance but death confronts him right there before he can do it you know and so of course there's this big setup and they have this epic fight it's really awesome um but it doesn't end how you expect actually um, you expect like one of them to kill the other, yeah, right? Because <laughs> it's death or puss, right? Yeah. Someone's gonna die. <laughs> but Choose actually, yeah, right. It, yeah. Sh- it should be. And in other movies, that's what it would have happened, right? But no, in the middle of the fight, death, like he looks at puss and recognizes that he has changed. I see. He sees that he's not like gonna wish for more lives, actually, but he's actually gonna value this one life that he has. And what he's going to wish for is going to be for his friends, mm. his new friends, because <laughs> you know, he's never had friends before. Mm. Um, and by not chasing his own personal glory and like ambition, but valuing and appreciating the lives in his life, the relationships yeah. in his life, um, it's like death is like, wow, I'll, I'm not here to kill you anymore. Yeah, I've got no reason to kill you. You appreciate life now. Yeah, yeah. yeah like you've, you've kind of solved your problem. And death just exits. He just yeah. leaves. Yeah. <laughs> it's very like anticlimactic in a sense, yeah. but also very climactic because it's like, wow, we've seen Puss change and get to the place where he needs to be. Yeah. Um, and of course, there's another fight with uh, the re- other bad guy, but we don't need to talk about that. Sure. <laughs> but to make sure it's exciting and stuff. Um, but I think with the theme of death um, is really interesting, right? Like, I don't know exactly what the writers are getting going for, but I think um, they're really pushing that um, we need to, what we do need to value in life are those relationships because he says like he's going to fight for his life, but the only thing that seems to be referenced are his friends. Yeah. Right. And so I think they're really kind of showing that man of all the things in life, the thing that's worth fighting for or living for that we should value are relationships Others. with other people. Yeah. Um, and maybe they got, you know, stuck and realized they don't have a great, answer so they just kind of use vague terms at this point but (laughs) it's so different than his initial right it is yeah if nothing else it's shown that he's really changed and grown through his journey um and so uh yeah and i think is i totally agree um and we'll get to why i agree in a sec but i i want to i think it should make us think about like what do you think makes life worth living you know yeah and what would be like worth fighting for in life. Cause that's the language he uses. I'm going to fight for this one life. Um, it seems like he's going to fight for his friends. <laughs> um, Kitty and pity too. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know. What about you, Andrew? What do you think makes life worth living or Me? would make life worth? Oh, living? personally. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, I, I'm a Christian. Okay. Uh, I, I started believing God freshman year of college mm-hmm. and I actually had this question from my mentor. Um, mm. Shout out Kevin Lee, if you're watching this. <laughs> But I once asked him after becoming Christian, like, hey, yeah. you know, now that I'm Christian, because I was looking for purpose, I was looking for meaning, mm-hmm. and I was like, you know, I was made for heaven, and that's what, like, would really satisfy me. Is Christian life going to satisfy me? Mm, okay. And I think the answer we concluded was no. <laughs> like, it's not supposed to. Wow. That's what heaven is. That's deep. So then you, you will get a very awesome life, like an adventure, mm. and an awesome way of living the way you were meant to live, like how God made you for a purpose. But even that purpose, I think is like pales in comparison. Right? Mm. And um, I think that's where, yeah, I think knowing that makes me feel more joy because huh. otherwise I'm just looking for it in all the wrong places yeah, and yeah. expecting something to show up mm. to match that desire. And it never does. Mm. So Man, that's yeah. deep. That's something I think about. Yeah. I'm not sure <laughs> if that's like, what you're asking about. No, but. no. I mean, I'm just curious because okay. I think, yeah, like I said before, I think we're, we all want to have like our own answer for this. Yeah. But I think we got to find what the real answer is. Yeah. I. <clears throat> so just going, going uh-huh. back a little bit back, like when I was a high schooler, a weird high schooler, <laughs> I used to think about clubs and okay. like picking mm-hmm. out clubs to mm-hmm. join and stuff. Yeah. And I remember thinking to myself at lunchtime, if I join one club, I can't join the other clubs. Hmm. Which is very clear, right? That's like, interesting. I only have, what, 45 <laughs> minutes at lunch. If I join Red Cross, I can't join Key Club or whatever clubs are out there. Some people do the opposite and join as many clubs as possible. <laughs> right. No, you try, right? But there's always going to be more out there that you want. Okay. So you got to pick and choose. Hmm. And I hated that. Hmm. I wanted a world where I did not have to limit um, my desire yeah, yeah, yeah. to the thing that is out there for me to essentially pour myself into. Mm, right? mm-hmm. It's like Red Cross would be one of them. And I didn't even, 
I wasn't even like that gung ho about it. I just <laughs> that was those when I decided on because my friends are there. Yeah, but to to your point, right? It's not like my purpose is Red Cross. Mm-hmm. Right? I picked it, uh-huh. and I sort of settled for it. Okay, but that would mean I'm settling for it versus everything else. Right. right? Okay. I, I think there is. Um, yeah, to your point, like a purpose mm-hmm. beyond the one I was picking simply because I couldn't figure out what to pick. <laughs> yeah, you just happened to pick just that happened one. To pick that one. Um, but it's interesting how you logically just realize, man, I gotta, I can only have one thing, and I just gotta hope it's the right one with that kind of mindset, right? Yeah. Like it's, if it's up to us, well, you just gotta hope it's the right one, right? And it can sound almost like, like I'm saying, oh, Red Cross is bad. Uh, that's not what I'm <laughs> no, saying. No, 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 no. It's just yeah. yeah. I'm just pointing out that. I want more. Mm, it's not, mm-hmm. I hope it doesn't come across as like selfish. I think it just comes across as honest. <laughs> yeah. I'd be dishonest if I said that was good enough. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's really interesting. Yeah. Yeah. I think, I think this is where the movie maybe kind of struggles a bit because okay. it's offering like other people and relationships yeah. as the thing worth fighting for. Yeah. And that sounds really good and makes us feel good. And actually, I actually kind of agree. Okay. Um, but if we continue the logic of, well, you're pursuing your dreams of adventure and glory, sure. puss. Yeah. That's pointless because you're going to die. Right. Um, and you can't take that with you. Yeah. Well, lo- logically, even His your friends, friends yeah, are not going to. Yeah. Like, even logically, like, you're going to die and you're yeah. not going to be able to take them with you. Even if you have nine lives, one of them is going to end. <laughs> yes. Eventually. Yeah. Eventually. Like, yeah. that's the whole point, right? Is we're all going to die. Gotcha. And I think, you know, unfortunately, even your friends aren't going to go with you. Yeah. Um, unless, unless there's something after death. Right. And, you know, the, yeah, the movie's not willing to go down that route. <laughs> and it's probably good that it doesn't. But I think, you know, um, we want to say that people are the most important thing in life. But I don't think a lot of people have a reason to understand why. Yeah. Or to be able to really say, oh, yeah, this is why it's most important to invest yeah, in relationships and people. Yeah. 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 Um, and so yeah, I, I just want to yeah, bring my p- perspective. You know, I, I agree with their conclusion, but I think it just doesn't quite work unless we bring like the Christian worldview into this, you know, because there's something Jesus said in, Ch- in Matthew is like, do not lay up for yourselves treasures on earth where moth and rust destroy and where thieves break in and steal, but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven uh, where neither moth nor rust destroys and where thieves do not break in and steal for where your treasure is there, your there heart you will be else. also. Yeah. And like the question is, well, what are the treasures in heaven? Cause he doesn't really say, <laughs> but I think within the context of the rest of the Bible, yeah. um, it's kind of, it, Jesus basically saying the conclusion of the movie, actually don't live for things that won't last past death. Yeah. Right. But that's like everything. Right. Um, except if Christianity is true, then there is life after death. People are after death. Yeah. There is heaven. And so the only thing that can go to heaven with you is other people. Yeah. And Jesus is saying, man, we need to, we need to find this treasure, these other people and bring them into heaven. Yeah. So if Christianity is true, then it would make sense for you to say, you know what? I'm going to live for other people and relationships, but not just like being friends. Right. But actually bringing them into heaven with me. Yeah. Right. Inviting them into a different life mm-hmm. outside yeah. of this one. Yeah. 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 So that we can enjoy eternity together. Yeah. Right. Um, And so I actually think, yeah, Christians have the greatest thing to live for because of that. You know, we can bring people into eternal life so they can join us for eternity. For sure. Right. And so not only does that make, you know, after death, like, I guess, nice or good, but it makes life right now before we die also really good and important. Yeah. Right. To me, it just makes sense. Like, mm -hmm. I just like the fact that it makes sense. Yeah. (laughs) I'll take that. Yeah. Like all this intuition that not only this movie, but I think a lot of movies really present a lot of different books and media really present is like people are what's most important. Um, Let's not, let's stop living for frivolous things. Yeah. You know, but all that said, it's not easy to to help people and live life for others. Oh yeah. Yeah. Definitely. It's not going to feel good all the time. No. Yeah. And I think that's why they use the language of fighting for, you know, like it's going to be hard and maybe the movie writers didn't have what I think is in mind, but, but it's going to be hard for yourself too, right. To kind of live for that rather than live for yourself. Um, and so I guess like the final question I just want to end with, well, if I'm daring to bring in Christianity, then why Christianity and not some other religion that maybe believes the same thing, Mm. right. That might say something similar, right. Live for other people. Um, 
And well, I think it's because Christianity claims that Jesus rose from the dead. Right. You know, that that's there's, yeah. There's something after death. <laughs> he, he is that one person to, actually that defeated Mr. Wolf. I was wrong when it's hundred percent of people <laughs> die. Yes. There's he, one person. He, yeah. Who didn't. Christianity at least Sorry, claims died, but not forever. Yeah, yeah. Christianity at least claims that man, he's the one person to be legitimately laugh at the face of death. Yeah. You know, and if that actually happened historically, you know, not metaphorically, not symbolically, not whatever rhetorically, you know, straight up happens, um, yeah. if he straight up rose from the dead, well, we should live how he lived and follow what he said, you know, yeah. and then we can actually hope in what he said, which was to live for other people and bring them into heaven. Yeah. You know, and then there's really reason to believe in Christianity, you know, and I, no other religion makes these kind of historical claims like this. Yeah. You know? No person like Jesus who made that no, claim. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that not only, oh, you should follow these laws, but no, you should follow me because I'm going to die and I'm going to rise from the dead. Yeah. Um, so in a funny way, I think like this movie kind of points out the importance of like figure out, figuring out like what's true. Yeah, you know? agreed. <laughs> right? Figure out if Christianity is true or not. Yeah. Um, because, you know, pretty much every religion wants to answer this question, right? That's why this is seems so universal yeah. what the themes these movies bringing out. Yeah. But I guess the question is which worldview, which world um, religion actually makes sense of all that we experience as yeah. well as the message of what this movie is saying, you know? Yeah. And I think just before you fully end, it's, it's Puss's own self, right? That he doesn't want that truth. Hmm. He has his own perspective that makes him the hero mm -hmm. and he'd rather believe in that at least for m most of the most beginning, of the movie. Yeah, right? definitely. And that's what keeps him from the truth. The mm, fact that he's mm. comfortable with the good feeling of <laughs> having those nine lives as security. Yeah. 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 Yeah, definitely. Um, so, you know, I, I doubt the movie writers, you know, thought about all the things <laughs> we talked about. They should have though. <laughs> but, but I think that's why this movie is so well received. Yeah. You know, it's so universal. Um, like anyone, no matter what religion you grew up with, I think can recognize the themes of this movie. Yeah. And I just, I, I think it, I think it's clear that Christianity explains what's presenting the best in That's the most holistic it, way. Yeah.